The strength of this nation we call the United States of America was built on the tenacity and true grit of a strong military. Take a moment, look at the stars and stripes of the American flag and never ever forget those who sacrificed their future for your freedom. American Tire and Automotive salutes the United States of America and its military. Their spirit and dedication guarantee our freedoms. God has truly blessed. considering, I think, what their strengths go against what can be Alabama's weakness. At least early, because I do think the line's going to be fine by the end of the year, but I think they're going to they're be throwing some looks that first uh, first week from Tech will be tough. Twelve weeks, twelve weeks they were at their best when they needed to be, and they were just good enough uh, when they weren't. You know, and, and I thought the only game where they really didn't play well and were extremely fortunate to get out alive was the LSU game. Because I thought they did. I thought they, they did what's so tough to do and just make sure you're at your peak for your best opponents. And then the other weeks, they were just better. You know, when they happened to be off maybe against Kentucky or a couple other teams, they were still good enough to win those games and escape those games. And that's going to happen all throughout the year. Florida's a prime example of it. Even though they recovered and win a national championship, they were not very good against what was perceived to be a weak opponent at Ole Miss and still found, still got beat that day. They weren't good enough to get by that. Can Alabama do that again? That's going to be a question. Yeah, they're ramped up. There's no question because people believe that Nick Saban could win big. And last year he was 15 minutes away from having that team play for a national title. Uh, and they believe that you just automatically will do that again. I'm not one of those. If, if we're back in the SEC championship game again, he ought to be coach of the year again. The talent is there, but to to go in having to replace what you have to replace on the offensive line and at quarterback and with what you lose at running back. I know you got great talent coming back, but you're losing a lot. Now defensively, it's going to be solid unless you get some injuries. It's going to be about as good a defensive unit, especially if you if you get some guys to step up as you expect in the secondary. It will be as good a front seven as you'll find, I think, in college football. It's um, It's got a chance to be another special year, but there are at least five other teams in the SEC, maybe as many as seven or eight, that feel the same way. I think Arkansas is a dangerous Arkansas, yeah. game. I really do, just because... I think Petrino is that good a coach. Uh, I think they, I, I think they played their worst game, maybe against Alabama. Certainly, their mistakes were the most devastating against Alabama. And you got to, you know, it, it's the timing. But I think if they are on that day in Alabama, it's just a little bit off. That could be a dangerous game. Of of the ones that you don't look at and go, all right, maybe it's a toss up. I think he will be tremendous. Now, does tremendous, is that going to happen immediately? I don't know. I don't know what type of a difference he can make with what he has relative to who they're going to have to play. I think the SEC, as, as much criticism it took last year as a conference, I think they're going to get that many accolades this season as a league. Um, they will be... 
think, vastly improved over a year ago. But will that be good enough? We're going to find out. I think they will be tough. I think they will be disciplined. I think they will be hard-nosed. I think they will play from the opening tip. Uh, is the talent level good enough, though, to match what's going to be some exceptional talent within the conference? That's the question mark. But I don't think they're going to be outworked.